Hi you guys, welcome back to Practical Living Through Grace. I'm Adrienne, I'm so glad you're here. If you are new, welcome, welcome. If you are a subscriber, welcome, I missed you. Happy New Year. So many things have happened, so many things. Um, well, just life, really. So today I am sharing with you a thrifty haul. Um, I went to a few thrift stores. You guys know the love I have for thrift stores. And I have been trying to figure out this past couple of months, years maybe, since my divorce, what my style is. I used to really be into the farmhouse look. Before that was like shabby, chic, kind of rustic. Um, but I've always loved the vintage, shabby chic look, always. And after my divorce, I got rid of so many things, my hutch and all my milk glass and so many, so many things. I wish I would never have done that. But when you go through things, you just throw things away for some reason. I don't know. I said I was, I've been thinking about the style that I love, that brings me joy and it's really it's called like cottage core um millennial or grand millennial or something like that and to me it's like shabby chic almost what i used to have so like um just a vintage with a little bit of modern twist just a little bit but as you can see this like the old books um you know, just the flowers and stuff like that. I love that. And then I have these little tin, uh, little tin plates like this. I just love. And then over here, you can see my little jar, little vintage jar. That part, I'm, I don't like that part. But when I was decorating for Valentine's, I kind of was trying not to go very Valentine's-y. It's just so hard because that's all the decorations I've had. And some of the decorations that I had previously, I kind of was just not loving them. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go to some um, thrift stores and see what I can find. And I was watching just a lot of inspirational videos and just getting ideas of what I love. And it's, I've always loved these things, like always. So I'm gonna share with you what those are. So if you're interested in seeing that, thank you for watching. So on this day, I went to a new thrift store. It was actually a part of a church and it has become one of my favorite thrift stores. They had so many cute things. They even had a rack of vintage nightgowns right there, purses, and they had this little Valentine's um, little area. They had so many cute things. I just really enjoyed it. This picture was $6.99 of this cute little boy and they had a good selection of pictures. I really didn't find anything besides that little boy, but I thought it was too pricey. So I'm, I'm looking for like, um, what are those things, the blue thing? Gosh, I forget what it's called, but anyways, look at how sweet this jar is with the lid. Um, again, this stuff was a little pricey. Here's all the bedding. I was looking for bedding and super excited I found these shams. They're so beautiful. And these two sconces. And I love this cute bag it came in. Like, how cute is that? From Hallmark. So I had a few ideas in mind. I was looking for um, picture frames, lacy things, um, older copper things, even tarnished type of um, things like plates and stuff like that. Um, or even white plates or even more milk glass. I did save a few pieces of milk glass and I'm so glad I did. because it'll just bring me so much joy. So one of the things I wanted to also look for is some bedding, um, specifically the shams of your bedding. Um, so when I first got there, I was so excited um, and I wanted like a white color, cream color, something neutral. And I found these, they're so cute. And it was this new thrift store at a church and it was just such a really put together um, thrift store. So there's queen shams, there's two of them and they were only 
$3.99. I cannot believe that. And so they are so pretty. I haven't taken them out, but I'll take them out with you. I love the little eyelets, the scalloped edges. I mean, these are beautiful. Definitely is vintage looking. Um, definitely has that cottage look, but I'm really going for like, I don't even know what you call it because it's vintage, it's cottagey, it's even French country. Like just, I love all of that. So these I thought would be perfect for my bedding. And right now I have the gains, hearth in hand comforter that I love, but I'm also looking for a new one. So then I kept searching some more and these caught my eye. It was just like this put together. I didn't really know what it was, but it said a full set um, was $14.99 and then it was on sale for $6.99. Hopefully you guys can see that. So it's a complete set with shams, um, a fitted sheet, I believe. I don't even know what else, but it had these ruffles and it was kind of like jagged or um, what do you call this? Torn, I guess. I just thought it was so cute. Definitely country. Um, love that style too. That's why I love the farmhouse shabby chic look so much. It definitely has the country vibes. And then along with the cottage vibes, I just love. Oh, I, like I said, I haven't opened this either, but just, I mean, look at that. It's so cute. And so it looks like all the fitted sheets are like that too, which, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at those ruffles. So sweet. And it's, I love this type of fabric because it's like cold and cottony and oh, it feels heavy. And so the fitted sheet is just fitted sheet. So for $7 for all of that, I thought that was a great buy. I think it'll be cute with the those shams because that set does not come with shams. It just has the pillowcases, which is even better. All right, so like I said, I was looking for a lot of just like tarnished pieces, picture frames, and oh my gosh, when I saw this, I love it. It's not vintage, but it definitely has the vintage feel. And it's $2.99. It was from Marshalls, but look at how cute is this. It's definitely, definitely modern. Now Marshalls is another place to go to to find pieces like this that are call it reproduced. I just, I mean, look at, it looks so vintagey. Still brand new with the tag on. So I'm so excited about this and I can't wait to decorate with that. This other piece definitely is tarnished and I'm not sure if it's a reproduction. It kind of looks like it, but just look at that. And it's only $1.99 inside and the bottom. I thought this would be so cute to put a little plant or maybe some flowers like that and they're just hanging over on top of some books. Um, I'm gonna give it just a really cute, dainty look. So from that same thrift store, the first thing I noticed, they had a little Valentine's display and I saw just this, like this. And I got so excited because this was like the color I'm looking for. Um, and it came with the candlestick already. So I was so excited and then I looked on the back and it said one of two. And it's $4.99. So I kept looking and then there was the other one. So I was so excited because I have a perfect place for these. I have this big picture in my hallway um, leading from the foyer. foyer. And I thought sconces or something on each side would look so pretty there. And these were the perfect color for that, um, going for that look. I just love them. So these, this is such a good find and so excited about those. The other items I found that are not home decor related, but I always love to check out their clothing items. Um, and I've been looking for sweaters and kind of like dainty little shirts like this, that kind of flowy, um, this I got from a YouTuber I follow Shadow Boutique. Um, and so I'm, I'm definitely trying to beef up my sweaters 
now that I'm home, I can wear sweaters, um, sweatshirts. And then, like I said, I wanted to get some more like date night shirts or whatever. Anyways, so I found this Fila sweatshirt. It's definitely oversized. I think it's extra large. It was $3.29, but everything that was had like an orange tag on it was 75% off. So I paid like, I don't know, a dollar something. But I just love it. It's like a periwinkle color. Nothing fancy, just for athleisure wear during the day when I'm running my errands. It, it, I mean, it looked so good. There's no rips or anything. And I love it had side pockets. Like, I love pockets. I love pockets. So I thought that was awesome. And then I found this really nice sweater. You can dress it up or dress it down. Just a black sweater um, from Lucky Brand. And again, this was $3.99. It was not on sale, but I loved it because it's so, it's like a thin sweater. Nothing really fancy, just a few slits. Um, and then when I checked my receipt, I noticed she didn't give me the 75% off for that shirt, which is not a big deal, but I just wanted to let her know. And she said, you know what, honey, go grab another thing because I couldn't do, I don't know, they're still kind of new at it. She's like, go grab another shirt and don't worry about it. <laughs> so... I just really quickly, the only thing that was there was just this rack of blouses and stuff. Um, so I found this really pretty peplum. It looks like it's, um, I don't know, like a raindrop, maybe leopard. I'm not sure. But it's just so pretty. Um, it's from Express. It's $5.99, so 75% off, probably like a couple bucks. And all you need is like a little tank top underneath, neutral color. And you got yourself a cute little date night shirt. So that, oh, I just have a few more things. All the same item. But usually every Christmas, I try to get calendars for us for the new year. I, the kids like to have them in their room. And I usually try to get those during Christmas. But for some reason, I didn't this year. And I thought, well, right after Christmas, we'll go. Nope, I got sick, and so then I tried finding them at the Dollar Tree anywhere else. They were so expensive. Dollar Tree ran out of them, and I'm not really picky about calendars. I just don't like paying for them because I always can get them for free or really cheap. So next to the cash register, there was like a pile of these calendars, 2024. Um, there's a puppy one, and I don't know what that one is. There's that one, but like I said, it really didn't matter what they look like. So I was so excited because, you know, my kids just have this up in their rooms. And like with my daughter, um, hers will say when she's with me, when she's with her dad. So it's really helpful for her. So I thought these were great and they were free. There was a whole stack. So um, I thought that was so awesome. Something I don't have to pay for. And some of them just are, you know, kind of interesting. So I thought that was great. So I grabbed one for each bedroom. All right. Then I went to the Goodwill. Not the Goodwill. It's called Idaho Youth Ranch. So you guys know I live in Southern Idaho. Um, I love going there because they also have like 75% off this tag or 50% off this tag. So this was a day um, I didn't find a whole bunch of things. I think it was like a dark pink tag but um, I found a few things. So I found this cute little plant stand. Like it is so cute. Um, I love the gold rusted color on it. It was only 99 cents. And I found this later on because I wanted to see if a plant stand would, you know, a plant would or whatever would go in there. And this sort of fits, so I just kind of kept it on there. And this didn't have a tag, so I'm not sure how much this was. But I thought that was so cute together to put somewhere. Like, uh, I love these peonies. I love these type of flowers. As you can see, my favorite are ranunculus and peonies. My husband makes fun of me. Is it peonies or peonies? Because he's like, it sounds like you're saying panties. <laughs> But, and then it has little hydrangeas. So I thought this was so cute, so pretty. Um, you can just, like I said, put it somewhere and boom, got yourself a new little thing. 
This next piece I thought was so cute. I already have two of these that I found at that same thrift store and I was surprised to find this one. Um, I'm really falling in love with this type of picture frames. Um, oh, they're just so pretty. So it's this picture of a little girl and her doggy, and this was $2.49. Um, this is called The Original in Disgrace by Charles Burton Barber. And these are can go from like $30 online um, if you you know if you want to sell them. And they are removable. I tried removing those, but um, so you can. My my daughter wants to do like a dog theme for her room, and I thought this would be a perfect because I was trying to find inspiration on you know little girl's room with the dogs. <laughs> And this was, this is my inspiration. So this is what I'm going for, like that cottage, cottagey little girl's room. She's 10 and I think she's going to love this. Like it is so cute, that little puppy. Just look at him. It's so pretty. I love these colors. Uh, I'll have to show you my other ones that I have on the wall over there. They're two floral ones um, and I just love them. I think, you know, imagine the story behind that picture and what wall it hung on for so long. Oh, I just love all that. So one of the first pieces I found there was this doily. Look at how beautiful this is. So, so pretty. This was also $2.49 and it was not on sale. Um, I have this old like little mint to green chest in my living room and I like to put doilies or quilts. Well, I recently have had quilts on there that my mom has made me. And you know, I was like, I'm going back to my doilies. I love my doilies. There oh, I had so many I found at different flea markets and vintage shops for so cheap yard sales. That's where you can find them. So 250 for this is not bad. I love it. It definitely has that look you can even put half of it hanging from a shelf with books and i've seen that and that looks really pretty so so many things to play uh, around with with this i love it um another thing i found that i had recently gotten rid of and like i said i kick myself every time and i feel like it was i'm like oh, did this used to be mine i don't know but I loved the price and I loved it. So it's a milk glass lamp. I am not going to use it just for safety reasons. I don't know how old this is. Um, I might even take off this piece um, and then just find a cute little shade to go on top. But it was only $5. Like you cannot, like I've gone to vintage stores and um, they've been like $20, $25, $30 for a lamp. And I think it would just look so cute next to or on my nightstand so I can put my ring or headphones or whatever little things you want to put here that you don't want to get lost and so I thought this was cute I wish there was another one I'm on the hunt for another lamp for my husband's eye and just look at that look at how cute that looks together so cute all right so I am like I said I'm loving those plates that you can hang on the walls and more so the ones that come with picture frames. But there are so many plates that I find that don't have picture frames and I just don't know how to hang them. And I found this there. So it's a picture hanger or a plate hanger. It was only 99 cents. So I thought, you know what? I am going to try to look for just a plate to hang. Like I said, I already have some over there and I thought it would be really cute maybe to put in the kitchen. I have some walls that I need to put new things in. And I thought that would just be so pretty. And I think I have some more plate hangers somewhere in my storage. Also found this, I don't even know what it's called. Is it a butter plate where you put like little slabs of butter on? I'm not sure. Soy sauce. I don't know. That is the um, stamp on the back. I'll have to look it up. It's only 99 cents. And again, this was, um, I, I believe it's 50 cent, 50% off or 75% off. I don't remember, but off of the dark pink tag. So you got it for so cheap. You can put earrings, your rings. Um, I thought of my husband's and mine vitamins for breakfast in the morning. I always am trying to find little tiny bowls to put our vitamins. I thought that was so cute. Um, and then I saw this and they have a Valentine's little shelf that they put everything pink. And I saw this and fell in love. It is so beautiful. 
and would just look like cute right next to a vat with a picture in it. Um, oh, I just love this. It's very vintagey, very cottagey looking, um, and it's not too busy. And this was only $1.99, so I had to have this. Next thing, I was super excited to find this frame. They didn't really have a good selection of picture frames. Like, um, you know, I was trying to go, go for this gold color or that pewter color, um, but I found this. It's so pretty. It reminds me of Hobby, Holly, Holly Hobby. Um, I do have a picture of her somewhere. I gotta find it. And it's like this minus the glass. Um, but I just love this style. I would say this is definitely vintage, not antique. Um, and this is only $2.49. Just because the back is more like a, it's definitely not modern. And yeah, I love this. This is so pretty. Um, so I'm excited for that. I'm excited about everything. Okay, next two things. This one's definitely not home decor related, but I had to pick it up because I have a little grandbaby girl and this is gonna be her first Valentine's and I thought this was cute, my first Valentine's day. So I thought this was so cute. And she's teething right now, which would be perfect. And it was only 99 cents. Actually, maybe, yeah, brand new, still never been used. So I think she will really enjoy that or her mama will. Um, these next two pieces I am really excited about. Oh my gosh, I keep saying that and I'm so sorry, but I love everything. So this one that I'm going to show you, I saw right before Christmas and I had picked it up and I put it back down. I don't know why I did. And then it got lost after that. I tried to go back like the next day to find it and it was gone. Um, and it was so sad because my parents had given me a piece an uh, antique piece up in the front of my foyer where it's like a little sitting chair and i think it you could put a phone there on the side i'm not sure but they had upholstered it with this beautiful floral vintagey looking material and then i covered it up because it must have got a stain or something this plaid black pattern that used to be in a lot i mean i loved it but now it's like i don't like it anymore i'm trying to get rid of that style and go for something just more classic and you know cottage quarry vintagey and this is what i found it i found it um when i went i was looking through their yarn bin fabric bin and it was there and i couldn't believe it i was like yes um so i i just love it the floral i mean it's just a beautiful pattern very moody vintagey um so it's it's definitely will fit the little bench, but so beautiful. And it was only $3.59. So I, I'm so, I am so excited. I can't wait to show you guys how that bench comes out. And I'll show a picture of what it looks like before so you guys can see that. But it was just, I couldn't believe it, it was still there. All right, so this next piece. $2.49. All I saw was the lace and I was like, what is this? I don't want to buy it and not see what it is. So I opened it up and oh, again, it was my lucky blessed day. How pretty is this? How pretty is this? It looks like a table runner. Mm, I love a good cup of tea. Let me show you this. I love this little teacup. It's beautiful. It has gold rimming. I'll show you the plate so you can get a better look at it. But look, look at the detail of just the flowers. So dainty. It's, I love this. Um, I'll forever keep this. Um, my aunt passed away last May and she loved she sold vintage items and we shared that same love and i think that's where i get it from her and my mom love used to yard sale and um they just love old things and so i have that it's in my jeans but um my mom sent this to me um 
and I will just treasure this forever. And every time I drink it out of it, think about the times and the conversations we had. I'm sure it encouraged me through my divorce, even through the ending part of it. And uh, I just, I miss her dearly. And so um, I'm trying to drink more tea. So today I am drinking like a throat coat tea and the hibiscus raspberry mixed together. So cheers, Thea Paula. And if you guys are wondering what kind of tea I'm drinking, this is the throat coat. I, for some reason, I was over the flu about, um, like I said, I had it after Christmas for two, three weeks. And so now I feel like, um, I don't know, the weather's been really weird. It's just been kind of coughing a little bit. So I just love that tea. And then this is from Stash. It's the hibiscus, wild hibiscus, wild raspberry hibiscus super good so good so that's what i'm drinking all right back to this so this is so cute i have a long table and um, we cover it with plastic because of the kids but i have my husband picked this really beautiful tablecloth to go under and i love it but there's some time like for valentine's i wanted to do it a little different and i didn't want to do the little plasticky tablecloths i wanted something just romantic and i just love lace it's so romantic like you know <laughs> i do <laughs> so anyways it is just so long like so long so 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 long so i think it'll fit our table perfectly another thing i found there and i was so excited <laughs> when am i not excited let's just get it out of the i'm excited about everything but i couldn't believe that i found this um, and it goes like perfectly just with my, um, the look I'm going for. I mean, I've always dressed like this. Um, like I said, there was a period in time where I just really didn't care, excuse me, what I wore, just kind of a fleisure wear was really what I was into. And it kind of just putting more thought and more effort into it. Me and my husband go on dates every week and... I like it to be special. I like to dress up and do all that. And I'm just not used to going out on dates every week. So I want it to just be so special. I love him so much. He is just, he's so awesome. My soulmate, God brought him to me in a time of that I wasn't expecting. And we fell madly in love. So anyways, it's not, okay. Anyways, so this, I found this shirt. Like how cottagey is this? Like it's so cute. It's got these like, puffy sleeves gonna be perfect for the spring summer um i mean the lace detail it's just so beautiful definitely need a shirt underneath but look at the lace like detail on top and the collar beautiful beautiful and then it just has a little um button i put in the back and this is a universal thread it was $3.97 and I thought that was perfect. Like it's brand new. So it even still has a tag on it. So if you guys, I don't know if you guys want to look that up, but I thought it was perfect. Like this is exactly what I'm looking for. The type of like date night shirts. I don't like anything too revealing. You guys know me. Um, so that, oh, one more thing that I thought was so pretty um, is this cute little hair bow clip it was only 99 cents it was in the Valentine section it's just one of these type of things and I thought either I could wear it or my daughter and it would just look so pretty I, I love these ones like how cute is this well, mine is this. Okay, let's just take this off because I'm not returning it. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> the pearl came off. I'll just glue it back. But how cute is that? Like in in your hair? Whoops! I'm sorry. That was a horrible example. Oh, I'm kind of sad this broke off. But whatever. And I just think this is a cute idea to. You know find plain bows and add add details like this on it like find ring earrings see my pearly little earrings 
sometimes I lose an earring that I think is so pretty. Like I've lost earrings kind of like this. And I was so sad that I still kept them. So I think that's going to be a good idea for my daughter to find her some of these little ribbon. You can even make them. I mean, it's these are so easy to make. I've made these for a long time. Um, so I love jewelry like that. Like my little one gave me this. And I just thought this was so cute. It's so beautiful. Such my aesthetic vibe, if, so to speak. So that's it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you love this type of content and this decor, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what was your favorite piece out of this. I'm not sure what my, like all of it. I love it all. Like, I don't know. I can't pick one. <laughs> so weird. But all right, you guys, I am so excited to to be putting out more content and like I said I want to bring you along in this journey um, of practical living through grace and this is exactly what I am talking about like I don't some of the decor I have has not brought me joy and these types of home decor pieces bring me joy all the time every time I look at them so when I'm having a bad day or just having a struggle I can just come in here and look and see like all the beautiful pieces and I think that's how a home should feel is just like whatever brings you joy whether it's florals or I don't know what greenery you know put that around your home to bring that joy in your heart um, and it'll help you rejoice always be on the lookout the next video is going to be my Valentine's home decor I'll also be showing you in another video how I'm switching out all my items in my home, mostly all of them. I still have a lot of vintage pieces hanging around and I just want to sh bring you along that journey of how I'm styling everything simply. Thank you guys for watching this video all the way through. I really appreciate it. Please like this video. Leave me a comment again of what your favorite piece was. If you're not subscribing, I would love for you to join our community by clicking the red subscribe button below and be sure to hit the notification bell on so anytime I post a video you will be notified. Thank you again for stopping by and I'll see you next time on Practical Living Through Grace. Bye.